Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. It has been a while, yes indeed. So for a while now you guys have been uh, driving me insane about this house file. Some of you have been like, Heretic, hand over the house file, I need to shoot at it. Uh, because the whole point of this house is really to, to shoot at it and just see the damage that has been created. And, and you know, you don't have, always have to shoot at it, you can always crash into it if you want. It's not really... Is anyone can make you can make a rocket or something and then shoot at that, but yeah, you know, a couple of people want this house, so it's fine. And the living quarters within it are not very nice. Let me just tell you that there's no couch, there's there is no seat inside. It's, it's terrible. The Kerbals don't like it, but you know they they have to sit inside. <laughs> you can put the Kerbals inside. I've got a ladder actually on the front there, so you can you know, put a Kerbal in or, or several, whatever you want, and then shoot your decision. And this house actually flies. It glides. Amazing, isn't it? You'd assume that wouldn't work because of all the the ed he's been created behind behind the wings there, and it's not aerodynamic at all. But that's just the game cre um, just the way the game calculates it. And at this point, I was like, no, it's gonna crash, and bang, it crashes. And does anything? Oh yeah, one thing fell apart. Okay, well nothing really exploded. Anyway, but this is just uh, one of the reasons why I created this video, because really, there's another purpose of this video. Now, for a while now, I've been listening to a podcast known as the Space Rocket History Podcast by Michael Annis. Uh, you guys probably won't know Michael Annis. I never knew him until I listened to his podcast. Uh, so, essentially, this podcast is all about space rocket history. You guessed it. <laughs> so, it, it speaks about, you know, how we got into the whole idea of rockets, how we started up with the... Uh, just missiles and then, you know, moved into the ICBM field, uh, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. And then, you know, then we started doing these manned flights and such. Uh, right now we're up to, it's like episode 53, the Gemini Project, I think, was it 50, 50, I don't know, if Gemini Project has been playing for a couple episodes now. Um, so we're getting onto like manned missions at the moment in these episodes. And each episode is, I think it's like more than 20 minutes long. And a lot of you guys are like, no, I don't have time for that. Let me tell you what a podcast is, right? Let me try and describe it as best as I can. Essentially, it's a movie without the image. It's just the audio. So what you can do is you can I don't know, download it onto your phone. For me, it's free. Right? I have uh, like a Windows 8 phone and then I go to the store, podcast, and there it is, free. And you know, whenever, whenever there's a new episode, it just automatically downloads. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty convenient. Oh, no, the house fell... No, <laughs> that's just a silly film. So, and I know other guys are like, I don't have time for that, blah, blah, blah. Well, what you can do is, let's just say you're, uh, if you're a female or something, you know, if you're hanging up clothes, then you can listen to the podcast. If you're, I don't know, cleaning or something, listen to podcast. If you're jogging, if you're, I don't know, maybe at work and you have free time and your manager's not looking, then podcast. Uh, for me, it's just, you know, whenever I have time, or maybe you know, right before bed or something, you just lie down and just listen. 20 minutes, that's approximately how long, well, on average, I think each episode is probably. That's just a guess, actually. But I have seen an episode that is more than 20 minutes, so that's where I got the idea from. Uh, but yes, and that's it. An interesting podcast. I will link it in the description for you guys to download this craft, but also to check out the podcast. Highly recommend it, actually. There's a lot of interesting things. We have not reached the Apollo mission as of yet. We're doing the Gemini project, and then I think it will be the Apollo, because the Gemini is linked to the Apollo, kind of, with uh, with all the tests that had to be performed. This rocket sent it into space, wanted to see... Uh, whether it would work or not, uh, issues involved, blah, 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 then they fix the issues, and then, you know. I mean, you can't do a moon mission uh, and, you know, have parts that aren't working. That'd be devastating, possibly. A single part that doesn't work is pretty bad. And it's, be, it's interesting how, like, every mission, like, a single thing breaks, and it's like, oh, no, everything broke. We're doomed. <laughs> no, I'm just over-exaggerating. Uh, next episode... I think we should finally do the drop pod. I've been delaying the drop pod for months and for a very long time now. I don't know why. Well, in fact, it doesn't. There's an issue with the drop pod. I guess I'll just have to speak about it in the episode. Uh, it's an interesting issue. 
so you guys will find it entertaining possibly and it looks pretty cool the design of the drop pods I, I got the design from ODST the Halo ODST game ODST stands for Orbital Drop Shot Trooper I think yes so ODST from what I understand they just they're, they're in a um, let's just say in a container which is a drop pod and they, you know they, they get shot out from I don't know if they're in space and they get you know uh, deployed and then they get you know go through atmosphere and land on the ground wherever that's an interesting concept and I don't think we'd ever be able to do that in real life because put it this way it's the, the these drop pods crash into the ground they don't like land smoothly like boof right you can make them land smoothly but it's very costly to do that in real life drop shot trooper I mean that's why you have parachutes Although parachutes wouldn't save you from the re-entry heat, you'd get fried. No, you'd get cooked. <laughs> and look how everything breaks in this on this uh, house there. Like one by one, it's very interesting. It just disappears. No real explosion, but it's understandable because wings don't explode unless. Well, some the airplane wings uh, do. They do have uh, fuel inside of them. Yeah, they carry the fuel. Hmm. Obviously, the ones in here don't carry fuel. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Take care.